Good evening and, and welcome to the Thurgood Marshall Center. My name is Carol Rhodes Dyson and first of all, I want to uh, let you know how much we appreciate you being here with us this evening to share Marvin's work, to listen to Marvin talk about his work and his process, uh, to also perhaps maybe introduce some of you to this center because it is such a jewel and a gem. Third, I have to acknowledge El Barter, El Barter Collie who said, Carol, we have an opportunity to, to do some artwork here at Thurgood Marshall. You want to do some? And El Barter has been uh, uh, just a jewel. El Barter has been a guide. El Barter has done so many things. The food tonight, uh, the decorations, uh, art. El Barter has just opened up with Miss Yearwood this opportunity for us to do art and for us all to come together tonight. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. I'm Thomasina Yearwood, President and CEO of the Thurgood Marshall Center for Service and Heritage. I think that's very important for us to, to acknowledge. Um, it is truly an honor to have Marvin Bowser's exhibit here at the Thurgood Marshall Center. But just to give you a little history, this building is the first African-American YMCA in the country. Um, it's a historic landmark building one of Hillary Trenton, Clinton's precious treasures, and we're very excited about the history. Actually, Coach John Thompson was founded in the gymnasium. Someone saw him playing basketball and decided to give him a full scholarship to Carroll High School, which sort of sent him on his way in terms of his um, career. We also have had Elgin Baylor train in the gym, Denzel Washington, and many others. So as I, when I came on in 2001, it was a blank slate and have been able to create the atmosphere that I think is so appropriate for this historic landmark building. So I invite you to come back. We have 15 nonprofit organizations in the building that serve children, youth, and families in the community. And we also offer below rental cost for the spaces here. You can have anything from a wedding um, reception to just what we're doing tonight, doing an exhibit for Marvin Bowser. So I'd just like to say welcome, and I hope you enjoy this evening and honor Marvin as we really want to do tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Let's just bring Marvin up. Thank you, and uh, President Yearwood, uh, El Barter, Carol, I thanks for making all this happen. I'm a, I'm a little choked up right now, it's, it's nice. Um, so, uh, Carol's a cur curator, and, and you've done some teaching as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, so she told me, this is how I'm supposed to do this. So I'm supposed to tell you about myself, and then I'm supposed to uh, tell you uh, about uh, images that I love, and then I'm going to tell you about what I'm going to do coming up, right? right. Okay? The joy. The joy. So, <laughs> I'm a native, I'm Marvin Bowser. I'm a native Washingtonian. Um, I was, uh, you know, raised in North Michigan Park in Northeast, in the house that my parents bought in, the, in their mid-60s, and they still live there. I have five siblings. I, there are three boys two girls. You might know my younger sister. I think she's the mayor or something like that. Uh, <laughs> I have a degree um, in business administration and a master's in um, telecommunications. Uh, so it sounds like an artist so far, right? right? Um, uh, I had an ROTC scholarship and that, that got me to college. It also got me uh, stationed in Germany right away. So I bought my first camera when stationed in Germany in the early 80s and, I, and that got me into travel photography as well because I did a lot of traveling. There was still a Soviet Union then, right? Like, like there's real, real stuff going on in the world and we worked hard and played hard. But on the weekends uh, when we weren't doing a, an exercise or something, we'd take to the road. So I have um, boxes full of 
castle pictures, church pictures, vineyard pictures, pictures of valleys, uh, snow-capped mountains. And it's, it's just really hard to share that stuff now, right? Um, we, uh, so let me go back to, to uh, my, his, my, my long story. Um, I have a 34-year career in defense and defense intelligence-related stuff. Still sound like an artist, right? <laughs> uh, ten years active duty Air Force as the Air Force Intelligence Officer, six years as a Navy civilian doing, doing telecommunications, and 18 years as a defense contractor. Um, all work that I really liked, um, but the, you know, those are my three chapters, Air Force, Navy, defense contractor. The arts are my fourth chapter. So I, I started doing some acting like my last year working defense related stuff as a, in a web series and I, that got, you know, that was the bug and you know, I got bit by the, the acting bug and I'm pursuing that. I, I actually just joined the screen, uh, screen Actors Guild. Um, and the photography stuff, again, going back to uh, Germany, my father was like the family photographer. When we did like the Thanksgiving dinners, Christmas dinners, he, he'd set up this elaborate flashes everywhere and we'd do the family picture. Um, so I do that now. <laughs> He's, uh, he gave me all his, all his camera gear, most of which I had no idea what it was. But as I've gotten more into it myself, it's like I figured it all out. And daddy always buys high-end stuff. So it's, it still works and it's good, it's good stuff. Um, so I, I have uh, quite a lot of gear, so my father would be proud of that. <laughs> more, more so, he's a gadget guy too, he likes gadgets. Um, the, uh, so, very busy, um, um, I, I used to take pictures when I travel, never really did much with them. When um, the family got more involved in politics and I got, you know, Facebook, you know. So I, I caught myself, um, I felt like I was working for Facebook. I was doing so much posting. I would be out all evening and I'd come home and I'd work another couple hours doing Facebook posts. I'm like, you know, you know after um, I took a, I took a, a package and, and retired early, and you know, I had this crazy idea when I was young that I would retire um, by 55 and realize that I made 55 by like a day uh, with, with that. And then it's like, well, what are you going to do? You know, so, so I like the acting thing. But um, um, the photography, I was actually visited a friend in New York and when I was still figuring out. And I, I talked to a lot of people. I had, had a lot of lunches, you know, the things you do. Like, what, you reach out to your network. What, what am I doing? And it's like, you know, I need to do something with the photography. And the uh, I, you know, a favorite subject, if you hadn't noticed, is flowers. And who do we know in town who knows something about flowers, right? Stacy Lee Banks, right down the road here. So I, I reached out to Stacy and said, hey, I want to I do something, I wanna, and I need some place to sell stuff, right? So can I do it in your shop? And she said, sure. I took a laptop down and sat with Stacy and Christy and showed her some of my work, and they, they really liked it. They said, uh, you need to do cards for us. Lee's Flores. And um, yeah, so, so I spent last year doing cards and matted prints. And that was fun. I did a lot, a lot of pop-ups and, and stuff. But I, I, at the end of the year, it's like, well, what are you going to do um, next year? Because the cards and stuff are fun, right? But it's like, I, I really wanted to do more. And so I decided to do um, like a, a more professional presentation and packaging of my work. So I went to this classic uh, gallery presentation and I've done more larger scale um, events um, where people can, can you know, come out and, and see stuff like professionally presented and, and made some sales. So it's like, oh, this is worth it, yay. Um, so this year, um, I, this, this, is, um, this collection in total is called um, Color Light Movement and captures um, images from, uh, actually most of these are fairly new, um, like in the last three years. The oldest one is, um, is, is in the exhibit in the hallway called Tomorrow Obama Will Be President. 
and that was taken the day before Obama was sworn in for his first term. Um, and if you hadn't noticed, I like, I like color, and photography is all about light. So, so there are several pictures that are really, really good exemplars about, about light. Um, so so what, what kind of pictures do I love? So I cheated a bit, and I put some of them up here. Um, and you know, I'll, I'll quickly go through them. So um, the first one is called um, Black and Gold. So I don't know if you had a chance to see that one. But um, that was taking, taken in uh, Salvador da Bahia in Brazil. And I particularly like that one because someone very dear to me is the subject. That would be my partner, Mike, Mike right there. And, and people ask me, uh, do, do you edit your pictures? She's like, of course I do. What are you talking about? So for, for that one, you know, I really saturate the colors like to, to where they're actually distorted and then, and then just, just took black to 100%. And I was, I was just playing around. But then that, that gold chain popped out. And that's, that's, that's the picture. That's, I didn't add the chain in there. So that was cool. The next one is called Black Koi. Why would I call a picture with two golden koi black koi? Well, the black koi is here. He, he just dove below the surface, so that ripple is the black koi. And I took that one in my backyard. So that's, that's my pond. Um, this, the next one is called Timeless. It's a um, ruin of a church in Panama City, Panama, looking up through the church steeple. And I, 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 I love the, the comments I get on that because it, it's the, 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 the lighting behind it is, is really, really grabs you. Uh, unfortunately, in reality, the sky when I took that picture was very flat. So I, I added some punch to that picture. So it's, it's, a, it's a composite image, actually. But it's, it's really, really nice. And there's a com, compa, uh, companion piece to that one in the hallway called... Um, Arriving, arriving. Um, this is what <laughs> if you if you wonder like what what kind of if you wonder how you feel about a picture if you look at it and you smile every time you look at it you like that one right so <laughs> so this is I call this one uh, Jamaica bird and I don't know what kind of bird it is but when I was in Jamaica I took the picture is Jamaica bird. And um, most people think that this is a black and white picture, and, and it's actually not. If you get close to it, you can see the eye. You can see the color in the eye. And it, it would just so happen that on this day, the, the light was crazy. It's like it's heavy overcast, but light was coming everywhere. And the background behind it was just kind of black and white. And the picture, and the bird itself is black and white. So that's Jamaica bird. Um. <laughs> um. Purple flower from Mars. Um, it's, a, it's a Stokes aster that is in a, a wildflower garden in Battery City Park in Manhattan. So it's not really from Mars. And I did turn up the luminosity on this, and I, and I um, darkened the background to make the flower really pop. Sunday in Salvador. So um, this is uh, Salvador da Bahia. And I was actually following the sailboat up the coast. And um, so I have a series of these pictures, like following the sailboat. But I went back and looked at it. The composition on this was just really striking with the building, this graffiti down here. There's um, islands in the background, the sky, the water. It's just a just nice shot, but it is. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't do a lot of uh, people pictures, um, um, but, and this is a, a candid shot that I took on Ipanema Beach, and I, I call it, I call him Gerald, just because that's why I think, I don't know, so. <laughs> and the last one, um, that yellow flower just floating in that lush, lush green environment that, that um, dissolves into darkness. It's just, you can look at that flower, that picture, and see different things every time you see it. And it looks different in different light. So it's, it's a, I, I, again, it's, 
it's it's a uh, it's one of the the I have several uh, images I think like give you a, a mood and I think that that's one of them. Um, so these are some pictures that I love. So what does next year look like? Um, I, I've, I've got to do some black and white. I've got to I've got to um, get out there and, and do that. And I actually a little scared of black and white. I don't know why because I I don't. So, so that's going to be that's going to be a journey. I also want to um, work on diff like print on different media because there's there's different papers, um, metallic stuff that you can do that'll do different things with with the color images and definitely different things for black and white. So when I try that, I would love to do some large scale projects, and I just haven't found the opportunity to do that. So if anybody wants to hire me to do some custom work and you have a wall and you want some, let give me a call. Give me a call. I'll be happy to help you out. Um, so let me, let me do a couple of housekeeping things. So uh, my website, if you haven't seen it, uh, marvinbowser.photography, which is like super easy. Marvin Bowser, you start typing photography, it should, it should take you right there. Um, so you'll see more samples of my work. And you can actually drill down and, and print and frame stuff from that. Or you can call me and I can do, work something for you, work up something for you. Either way works. So with that, I'll take some questions. Uh, um, I'll, I'll sign it. I'll sign wherever you like. Um, uh, I, I, when I started, I would I digitally sign stuff on the image. Um, but then if you, it, you'd have the same issue if the signature was obscured by a mat that you did later. So there, there, there are a bunch of, bunch of ways to do it. I, actually, part of the other reason I, I'm doing it in the front now, and this, this isn't the final thing, is I, I'm trying to get pieces out. I'm trying to get people to you know, collect stuff so people will recognize my work. So if you get one of these early pieces with the signature in front, it might be more valuable than one later signed in the back. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Questions? What do you have to fear about doing black photography? So, thank you for the question. Why do I have a fear about doing black and white photography? Because um, I, I don't know a lot about it. I don't know a lot about it. But I, but I have to say that in the course of like all the other work I've done in life, I do some of my best work when I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, right. What yes. The shower curtains. Um, I can, so so. If you want a sh I, again, if you want a shower curtain, I'll get you a shower curtain. It's like it's not a thing. It's like tell me. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. I so that I so you, you I I used to I used to um, have a bunch of stuff on on pixels dot com, and I just I didn't it the, the setup I have now um, is much better. And again, and you can you can find someone to, to to print on whatever you want. So again, if you if you need something, you, you, if you find an image of mine that you like, and you want to print it somehow strange, let me know. I'll take care of it. Yes. Thank thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. So I, could everybody hear the, hear that? He's basically. He's basically saying that um, he appreciated the diversity of, of my work, and, it, and it's an indication of how my mind works. Scattered, yeah. No. <laughs> it's, no, it's, it's, it's like, you, you know, a lot of photographers that walk with their camera all the time, and now you have a phone, so you have a camera all the time. You see something, you want to take a picture, you, take, you have it. And it's, yeah, I'm, I'm like very much like that. Yes, ma'am. The people pictures I have are candids. I like catching people um, being natural, being honest, being open. And when people know you're taking a picture, then, you know, straight crazy, crazy stuff happens. Um, I did, so I'll put myself in a report. So never do this. So um, I needed some headshots. So I took my own headshots. And I, th I think technically they were great pictures. Like they were technically fine pictures. But I, I went to a guy who does headshots. That's that's what he does, 
And he got me to do all these emotions and expressions, and, 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 and they're like, ah, these are so much better. Yeah. So uh, um, taking pictures of people, um, you need to know what you're doing. So, uh, um, so, I so I just became a Getty's Image, Images contributor, and I want to take more pictures of black people doing interesting things, because they don't have them. They, don't, they have the same three pictures. Um, so, um, if if you if you if you need pictures for stuff you're doing, um, let's let's talk about that too. Because if I'm, I could use some pictures of subject willing subjects um, um, that that I could later resell. I'm Melvin Deal, the founder of African Heritage Dancers and Drummers. For those of you who don't know me, in 1965. The Smithsonian bequeathed me a set of photographs that they had blown up to 8 by 11 feet to simulate uh, Dogon Village in one of their exhibits. And then when they didn't they finished the exhibit, they gave them to me. But I've had those photographs all these years. And they're in mint. When I say mint condition, I mean mint condition. They're at a friend's place right now. but. Just the size, the sheer size of the imagery is mind-boggling. And they're in black and white. So you mentioned having a fear of black and white, but I think if you see these, it'll take your fear away and you go, yeah, let me, let me see what I can do. <laughs> I, I have no idea what, what to do with them. Does anybody else have an idea of what? Why you might be able to do those? How how many are there? There are thirty panels. Thirty, 30 panels. Yeah, that that sounds like an offline discussion. <laughs> wow. Other questions. So, so thank you for that. I was I was waiting for an opportunity to ask this question. How many people in the room are artists? How many people are what? How many people in the room are artists? How many people in the room are artists? But that's, I was hoping every hand would go up because you're, you're all, everyone's artists. Everyone does something unique that, that gives them joy that other people come to. It, you know, it could be that sweet potato pie that, that you make, everybody comes, where, where's Emily's sweet potato pie? You know. Yes, ma'am. Um, Thank you. I, I, so, because I have a phone, yeah, um, I'm getting ready. I have, a, I, I have an iPhone 6, I'm still, I think I'm, I'm going to go to an 11, though. I like, is this every year thing doesn't work for me, but, but they actually have uh, enough camera features on the 11 that uh, they'll probably do it. Yeah. So hmm? The 11 has three cameras. Three cameras. Just be careful not to shake with it. All right, so thank you so much for coming out.